Well, Andy Good of Breve, or Breve English as they're being called in some quarters now. There's so many Englishmen in the squad there, and Simon Gillam, of course, their CEO, gets us underway in the warm sunshine here at Twickenham. An absolutely beautiful day, and it's going to be exhausting for the players out there. And here's Glenn Jackson straight away for the Barbarians. The old bones just about holding to get together for Corrie. Living on draft cod liver oil these days to keep himself going for two more games. And here's Darcy to shot Brits. He'd Bolshaw away in his wide outside. And here's Darcy chipped through from Lucy. And it's Bolshaw. And Bolshaw is being allowed to run and being allowed to run in for the opening try of the game for the Barbarians. You see Bolshaw's arm. We'll just put it out for him to put it through. It's a beautiful kick, sits up lovely and can't ask much more of that as a, as a winger. And round underneath the sticks. Nick Easter heaves it away downfield. Here comes Justin Marshall, Rocky Elsa in support. And Justin Marshall will hop on a skip, Campo style. Ben Blair is there at uh, Strom Half for... Glenn Jackson, Rocky Elsom, and Rocky Elsom to Martin Corey. Oh, Martin Corey, go on, big fella, 35 years of age, incredible stuff from the Leicester legend, and Rocky Elsom gets it out wide, and it's going to be another try, a second one for the Barbarians, and it's scored by Chris Jack. It's pretty simple, two on one, and a walk in for Chris Jack. Danny Clare looks to his right, he's got Hartley and he's got Moody there. David Wilson looking to pick up and go, and they do go through the forwards. Danny Kerr gets it out to Andy Good to turn her home, Serge Betson makes a classic Serge Betson tackle there. But it's still on perhaps for England, Andy Good inside for Borthwick, good tackle, here's Danny Kerr. Man outside is Rob Shaw, and inside Bonham scores the try for England. And at last they manage to get the breakthrough with half an hour gone, and England are into this game. And here's Dylan Armitage in the bright sunshine on that far side of Twickenham. The shadow beginning to drift across the pitch, and that kick drifting on a slicing arc. Here's Schalt Brits, and he tries the goose step. Now here's Ben Blair. Great stuff from Ben Blair. Here's Rocky Elson. Bolshoi is outside of Big Rocky. Off you go. It's a try from a parallel universe again from Rocky Elson. Did I just see a goose step on the hooker? And it actually worked and go around the outside. That was outstanding. And then Rocky Elson does what he's done all year, finished it off with style. But this is just amazing. He's goosed on it and gone on the outside. And a beautifully drawn in, I think, Turner Hall, and then he's just given that pass, and Rocky Elson's done that all year. That's an outstanding try. Jerry Collins is now in the uh, midfield. Here's Josh Lutz. Here is Collins of the Ospreys next season. As you say, what a back row they're going to have down there in Wales with his move from Toulon. Oh, and that's a good, strong run by Darcy. It's more than a good, strong run. It's a great run. Support is there from Jack. And here's Justin Marshall, those 35-year-old legs. Not quite getting him there. Support's there, though, now. And just short of the line. They might still get there. Ben Blair, there's numbers on this left-hand side. Schultz, Brits, Bullshaw scores again. And this is a rampaging start to the second half. For the Barbarians. Wilson's will be quite pleased that yeah, he's on I his way to be, uh, I think they'll be pretty happy at the moment. <laughs> Here's Lucy. He's pretty much on his own, but he's played through. Josh Lucy, there is support there, and it's going to be another try, and it's Gordon Darcy who has got it. And there's been some lyrical rugby by the Barbarians in this second half. Easily wrapped up there by the Barbarians. It's still England ball, though, but it's on the back foot. Here's Rob Shaw to Lewis Moody. Oh, the interception, and he's intercepted it. Have a guess. Yes, it's Sean Britt. Can he outsprint this goal? And it's go! Can he hand him off and get there? Go! It's so close. Schultz, and if ever a man deserved that? a try in a game like this, it's that man wearing two for the Barbas, 
Schult, Brits. Get it down. Oh, get it Armitage. down. Get it down. Did Armitage do enough? Did he get the ball down at all? That's the question. Armitage uh, underneath him. No. No, I don't think he scored that. It's unfortunate because if any man deserved it, he did. Well, he's in the air there. Oh, and his leg goes out. Well, it was it was a great effort by Brits to get the ball down. Action under pressure, making that slower ball, and then they've got to go again. So close to the line now on England, but Hodgson gets it out to Andy Good, who chips the ball into space, and it is going to be a try this time, and it's Jordan. It's obviously been called early doors. And it's just executed off the outside, made to look like it was a cross-field kick, and it's just a little chip over the middle. Well executed and well finished off by Jordan. Nasi Ganiyavi. The almost 20 stone winger, Andy Good, a little chip through again, and it's going to be a try for England, and it's a try for Tom May. 33 points to 17. Six on three, six on two. Ugh. Can they take advantage over that this time? Up goes Dougie Hunt. Oh, great, oh, great, great hands great by Banahan. Well, we're used to seeing the sledgehammer style from the bath winger, but well, that was all about subtlety with the fingertips. Yeah, and it makes it it makes it easy after that. And then a great take, outstanding take. And again, Mike, three little chip kicks from Andy Good three tries for England from them. Yeah, definitely. It's, a, it's not if you uh, started the game, it's not the way you'd really want to score all your, all your tries, but, you know, you take them. You, you know, they look, they're effective. Goody's good at them. And he seems to got rid of his uh, whiskey yeah, fingers. the penalty, uh, and it's Mike Cardu has the ball now. And in Barbarian style, they're going to keep on running to that final whistle. This is what they do. Gordon Darcy, the crowder counting down the clock here and it's Rocky Elsom in possession and no better man to have his hands on the ball at the final whistle than one of the men of the season the Australian Rocky Elsom and what a victory here for the Barbarians